Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants? I'm back, guys. Click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. What's up, y'all? Welcome back. And welcome to another edition. Yes, we are on. Listen, this is like a special edition, man. This is part 10, guys. So, yes, this is the 10th episode, part 10, whatever you want to call it, of LeBron James fans say weird things, guys. Yes, we're going to do it again for them. We're going to do it. We're going to have a good time. We're going to laugh, you know, we might cry, whatever. But welcome, guys. This is part 10, guys. Yes, and I want to thank everybody out there, man. Everyone across the world, everybody across the states, man. Shout out to all you guys. I'm truly humbled by all the support, guys. It means a lot to me, man, for real. It really does, guys. Everybody, man, everybody in the membership, man. Matthew Butcher, man, Ken S., James Williams, man. Shout out to you guys. Once again, I want to send a special shout out to my, uh, out to my man, Hayden Fiends, coming through with the super thanks once again. Man, I'm truly humble, guys, by all the support. You guys know how I feel about money and things of that nature, man. So shout out to all you guys. Thank you for the support, the comments, all that stuff, guys. And like I said, guys, this is part 10, man. We're going to have a good time, man. And you guys know what to do, man. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes, guys. <laughs> and let's roll. So, yes, guys, like I said, this is a special edition because we are on part 10 right now. I can't believe we've gone this far with this, man. And you guys continue to tell me that you guys enjoy this series, man. And I enjoy doing this, too, because once again, the comments never have anything to do with the videos. They're never factual. It's very emotional responses. It's from the same people over and over again. And there's similar things, right? Everybody's always concerned about the same things in their comments. And like I said, guys, we'll have a good time with it, man. We're going to have a laugh. And, uh, you know, without further ado, let's get the show started. All the LeBron James fan club members... If you guys want to continue, you know, to leave these comments, we're going to continue to expose you guys, man, and, and laugh while we're doing it. So, yes, like I said, guys, I got to look away. Forgive me. I want to read these things word for word. So, yes, the first one says, yeah, because guys like Jeff Hornacek was such an elite defender. That was the comment. It was on my Michael Jordan sharpened his skills against the NBA's elite defensive players, right? And I broke it down, man. I thought the video was very good. It was all facts. And I've talked about guys that Michael Jordan came and going against. The elite defensive players. Guys like Sidney Moncrease. Guys like Dennis Johnson. Right? I talked about these guys. Joe Dumars. You know, guys of this nature. And, and we talked about this. So this person leaves that comment. And of course, once again, shout out to my man Jeff Hornacek. They always love to throw out Jeff Hornacek. He's one of the go-to white guys of Michael Jordan's era that they always love to talk about. Uh, Dan Marley, shout out to Dan Marley, Danny Ainge. They love to talk about the slow white guys that was guarding Michael Jordan. And once again, we get a Jeff Hornacek mention in the comments from a LeBron James fan on a video that I talked about Michael Jordan in his first four, five, six years coming into the NBA and who he was going against. So they didn't mention any of the elite defensive players in that video. So once again, they can't dispute any of the guys that Michael Jordan sharpened his skills against. Like I said, steel sharpened steel. This went to Michael Jordan's greatness and why he had to develop an overall game going against elite defensive wing players. Like guys I mentioned. But let's talk about Jeff Hornacek real quick. Because to me, once again, Jeff Hornacek is an underrated player. Not by guys like us, like the real NBA fans who know Jeff Hornacek and what he was about, what he brought to the table, his heart, his grit. Like I told you, he's got more heart and grit than just about every single player in this era. This is Jeff Hornacek. And if you watch Jeff Hornacek play, like I watched Jeff Hornacek because I was a Michael Jordan fan. I remember Jeff Hornacek guarding Michael Jordan in the 1998 and the 1997 NBA Finals, along with guys like Brian Russell. What I always remembered about Jeff Hornacek was like I said, his heart, his grit, his effort that he gave on the defensive end, right? Jeff Hornacek was very cerebral the way he approached the game. You could tell he studied Michael Jordan. That's what these guys did back in them days. So shout out to Jeff Hornacek. This person, you expose yourself by throwing out Jeff Hornacek as if he is nobody and you're saying that he's such an elite defensive player. No one ever said Jeff Hornacek was an elite defensive player. I don't even remember mentioning him in that video. But like I said, they mentioned Jeff Hornacek because he's white and they try to, you know, downplay him, even though, like I said, he's got more heart and more grit. The man was a multiple time three point shooter and a three point uh, champion, a very excellent uh, knockdown shooter, Jeff Hornacek, uh, an all star uh, one time. And in this era, Jeff Hornacek would be an elite defensive player. So that's what the funny thing is about that comment. Once again, LeBron James fan club, they exposed themselves. No knowledge in the comment, not even talking about anybody in the video, denying anything in the video because they know the facts. Let's go on to the next one. Please do better when discussing all-time greats. You old-timers continue to disrespect the game. 
that comes from the LeBron don't love the game. He just loves the fame video. That was a very popular video. Uh, that got a lot of the LeBron fan club members upset. As you guys will see, there's a couple, several comments uh, today from that video. But in the in the comment, they say, please do better when discussing all-time greats. So I'm assuming they're, uh, they're calling LeBron James an all-time great, which he is. And they're saying that I need to do better. I can, I, old-timers, I'm 43 years old. Please, the old-timer stuff, I don't understand this. I told you, when I was growing up, to be considered old, you had to be like 70, 80 years old, man. I told you, my father's old. I'm not old, all right? So this old-timer stuff, I don't get that. That don't make no sense to me. Continue to disrespect the game. No, actually, what I'm doing and what we are doing, collectively, the real NBA fans, old and young, we are setting the record straight. We're actually calling these guys out. We're holding them to a standard. So if you're talking about LeBron James, we're holding LeBron James to a standard of being an all-time great, right? He's an all-time great. LeBron James is not just a regular guy. So we must look at him differently, right? That's the problem with the media and a lot of these guys like you. You guys are not holding LeBron James to the standard, and you're saying, we're no, LeBron James is disrespecting the game. I'm not disrespecting the game by talking about LeBron James and calling him out for his nonsense. You should think about doing that. That's what I'm doing on this channel. That's why people... You know, they respect what I'm saying and what I'm doing here. This has never been about hate. So I'm not disrespecting anybody. Anybody that knows my channel, I hold everybody to the same standard, man. And when we're comparing each other and you're comparing to Michael Jordan, this is when guys get exposed. Like LeBron James, you can't hold up to Michael Jordan's resume. He's the greatest player of all time. So if you're going to compare yourself to Michael Jordan, then that's the standard you're comparing yourself to. And LeBron James not lived up to that standard. I have Will Chamberlain number two on my all-time rankings. Will Chamberlain. A lot of people don't even talk about Will Chamberlain. They hate this man. But I'm disrespecting all-time greats. No, the LeBron James fan club continues to insult and to disrespect all the other errors. That's not LeBron James' error because they must continue to tear down all the errors to lift LeBron James up. They're the ones. You guys are the ones disrespecting the game. That's why we have to set the record straight. That's why we have to come out and do this. That's what I'm doing. I'm respecting the game, man. I'm holding the standard here. You guys are not doing that, not holding the standard. So you please do better. I'm doing better. I'm representing right now for all the real NBA fans, the people that are thinking the same thing that I'm thinking, but just can't say it the way that I say it or want to put themselves on camera and make videos, whatever the case may be. I'm standing for all them. You fools are out here messing it up, disrespecting the game. You got some nerve telling me I'm disrespecting. I got Jerry West in my top 10. How many people you know got Jerry West in the top 10 all the time? I got that man. I got Dr. J in my top 10. I recognize, man, I'm a historian. I listen to people who know more than me so I can become, can become informed and have an informed opinion on things. Y'all LeBron fans, y'all don't do that. Everything's emotion. Let's go to the next one. Oh, this is great. These are the great ones, guys. Jordan quit the game twice. I love when they say that. But y'all questioning LeBron, question mark. I get it. Some of you haven't accomplished anything since you had Jordans in high school. But it's time to grow up. So this is obviously a personal, a personal emotional comment from a LeBron fan club member. Literally, this is from the LeBron don't love the game. He loves the fame. I told you we we're going to hear some more from these people from that video. It got an emotional response from these guys. I guarantee they didn't watch the video. They saw the title. LeBron don't love the game. He loves the fame. And they came out the woodworks and droves. And this person got all crazy here. So you know LeBron James fan is mad when they say Michael Jordan quit twice. When they call Michael Jordan a quitter, you know that they're just not, they don't even listen to these people. Because once again, now when I talked about it, I did a video, I'm not going to go crazy with the quitter thing. But once again, Michael Jordan has never been associated with quitting, which is why people are referred to the Michael Jordan of. Think about it. If these people were smart, they would understand why people are referred to as the Michael Jordan of. That stands for excellence and greatness in your profession. That's what it stands for, guys. That's what I told you. You could be the Michael Jordan of anything. You could. It's not about quitting. If Michael Jordan was a quitter, if he was known for quitting, if he was ever a quitter or ever quitting anything in his life, then why would people be referred to as a Michael Jordan of? No one's ever referred to LeBron James. Only LeBron James has referred to his foot doctor as a LeBron James of foot doctors. Right, the foot that he was supposed to have surgery on that he never got surgery on. The LeBron James the foot doctors. 
No one's ever called LeBron James anything because LeBron James does not stand for excellence and greatness in his profession. Michael Jordan does. So right there, this person is talking about Michael Jordan quitting. That obviously doesn't make any sense, right? So you look stupid. You're an idiot. Once again, I get it. Some of you haven't accomplished anything since you had Jordans in high school. Listen, I still have. I literally just snapped a picture the other day, guys, of me wearing the Jordan 2s on Tuesday. I still have Jordans. Everyone has Jordans. Broadcasters on TV have Jordans. People at funeral homes are wearing Jordans. People in weddings are wearing Jordans. Everywhere you go, people are wearing Michael Jordan. Every, literally everywhere in the world that you go, any walk of life, it don't matter what your profession is, how much money you make, how much money you have, you have a pair of Michael Jordan sneakers. So if this person, once again, you're an idiot. You have the nerve to bring up the Jordans. Yeah, I, I only had one pair of Jordans when I was in high school. I told you I didn't go with money like that. I had one pair of Jordans, man, right? And I remember I had them my senior year, 1998, man, but I had them, them the taxi cabs, right? But anyway, the Jordans, man, for this person to say that, like I said, and, and bring up Michael Jordan and, and we haven't accomplished anything in our lives, like really, man? This is what we're talking about right now? Haven't accomplished anything in my life. How do you know what I've done in my life? Why are we talking about my life? Why are we not talking about the video? Talk about the video, man. Talk about where I, I lied about LeBron James not loving the game, just loving the fame. Y'all, you can't do it. You must continue to talk about me. It's time to grow up. Nah, man, it's time for you to grow up. Let me give you guys some advice, man. The LeBron fan club, let me tell you what's wrong with you guys. If I'm on social media, if I'm on YouTube, and I come across a video that says, you know, Michael Jordan is the worst basketball player of all time, for example, I'm not going to watch that video. I'm not going to click on that video to see what's said in this video. I'm not going to comment on that video. None of that stuff. I'm just going to scroll right past it like I didn't even see it. But you guys can't do that. If you see a video that says LeBron don't love the game, he loves the fame, you won't watch the video. You have to immediately click on it just so you can leave a comment. That's the difference between us. That's the difference, okay? I can be okay with people trashing Michael Jordan. I make my own videos. I speak and I say what I need to say about Michael Jordan and stupid debate and all this nonsense with LeBron James in this era and that era and how they talk about these guys and this and that. I'm representing out here. I don't get these people, man. Let's go to the next one. Oh, this is great. This is great right here. Says the guy making a YouTube about a basketball player for views. And that's from the LeBron don't love the game. <laughs> LeBron loves. I told you these guys got emotional from that video. It struck a nerve. You know why? Because the truth hurts. And for this person to say, I'm the guy making the YouTube videos. That's right. I'm the guy making the YouTube videos. This is YouTube, right? Once again, you guys don't really understand the point of YouTube. I keep telling you guys and asking you guys to call me out, make videos on YouTube. Stop leaving these stupid comments, right? And once again, for views, they always, once again, it's either the money or the views that I'm doing this for. This has never been about money or views. This has always been about the education. Hence the reason why I say these videos are for educational purposes. I don't say it just to be stupid or be funny or be cute. I'm saying that because I'm literally educating y'all, man. Literally. I'm talking to you guys and I'm giving you the information, the facts off of what I watched growing up and how I interpreted what I watched growing up. What I saw these guys do. How it made me feel. Things of that nature. This is an education. It's not about the views. The people that watch my videos, my people, the people that appreciate what I'm doing, the real basketball fans, they know it's not about the money or about the views. This is about the education. It's about setting the record straight, stopping the narratives. Even if only one person watched my videos, but I made them do some research, then I was a success. That's all I ask. Go do your damn research, man. Watch the video footage. My goodness. It's so obvious. It's right there in front of you. It's not about the views, man. So once again, you're an idiot. Another stupid LeBron James fan club, man. You people are crazy, man. Y'all don't make no nothing said about the video. Let's go to the next one. Oh, this is a good one, too. LMAO, bro, LeBron would fold this guy in half. And that came from that post. Oh, I mean, at the post, the video that I, I said. Uh, LeBron is soft. 
And I talked about LeBron with the Ime Udoka and, and all the guys that LeBron James has gone back and forth with, Lance Stevenson and Grant Williams and Dylan Brooks. And LeBron James ain't never popped off with nobody that's considered to be an actual tough guy or someone you would be worried about, right? No. And I talked about in the video, there's never been about physical altercations or fighting somebody or me beating somebody up or these guys can't fight. Is that what they're doing on the court? They're fighting? No. It's about being tough. And if you don't know what I'm saying, what toughness is or the difference between being tough and being able to physically fight someone or something of that nature, then once again, you're probably not tough then. All right? Being tough is a mentality. Being tough physically is who you are. Right? Ain't got nothing to do with physical fighting. So this burns up my LeBron for me half. Really? Le did LeBron James fold up Jason Terry? Did he fold and have J.J. Barea? Did he fold and have anybody? Who has LeBron James ever got tough with? Who has he ever pushed onto the floor? I saw some guy, Nazir Muhammad, on the Spurs one time throw this guy on the floor, LeBron James. He did nothing. He wanted nothing of it. Jason Maxiel, I mean, not Jason Maxiel, uh, Isaiah Stewart chasing this man around. Really? But LeBron would fold me in half. I I'll be honest with you, man. I think I could whoop LeBron James' ass. I really believe I could. I'm only 5'9", 180 pounds. But I think I can take it to him, man. The reason why I say that is because I know I'm tough. I know I've been through stuff. It's just the way it's been in my life. LeBron James, not saying he ain't been through nothing in his life per se, but once again, I guarantee you, LeBron James probably never even been in a fist fight in his life. Probably never been in one. He's been a chosen one for a long time, man. Long time. So, yeah, I don't think, I don't think LeBron James can fold me up, man. I'm saying if LeBron James, you, if you see this man, Come to my crib, dude. Whatever. I, ain't no one, once again, ain't no one worried about LeBron James, man. The <laughs> dude, like I said, the dude is sorted. The dude lays on the floor for like three, four minutes rolling around from a, a, a phantom foul. I'm supposed to be worried about he's going to fold me up? Nah, I don't think so. I don't care how big he is. I don't think he's that tough. Once again, you're an idiot. Let's go to the next one here. <laughs> no one wants to be a multimillionaire? Question mark. All right. That's what the person said. All right. Once again, this is from the Nobody Wants to Be Like LeBron James video. Video spokes for itself. Once again, no facts or, you know, disputed in this comment. But where do they go to the money? Nobody wants to be a multimillionaire with a question mark. No. I, once again, listen. I don't want to be LeBron James. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Would I love to be a millionaire? What kind of question is that? That's the dumbest question I've ever heard in my life. That's like asking somebody that want to win the lotto. No matter how much I tell you guys that money's not important to me, it never will be. I've told you guys on my list of values in my life, the money is not on the top of that list. It's just not. But just because it's not on the top of my list doesn't mean that I wouldn't want to be a millionaire or I wouldn't want someone to just give me a winning lotto ticket or something like of that nature. So when you say no one wants to be a multimillionaire, no one ever said that in the video. What I told you is that no one wants to be LeBron James. That's what we're talking about. And you must have missed that point. And once again, money, let's not even mention the money. Let's not go there. LeBron James has bigger problems than money, all right? He doesn't carry himself with any class or integrity or honor. Please look up those words. See what they mean. Ask grown-ups about those words, about class and respect and honor and integrity, what that means to have those things as a human being, as a person. And then ask them about money. All right? So, yes, I would want to be a multimillionaire. I just don't want to be LeBron James. I want to be myself. If I could be a multimillionaire and be myself, that would be fantastic, man. Great. You know what I'm saying? But once again, I don't care. It don't matter. Right? Still myself. I'm still me, baby. And let's go to the last one here, guys. I know it's getting a little bit long here. This one is just, this is a little weird. This guy, this is one of the weird ones, guys. This is a little weird. So, guys, bear with me on this one, man. All right, guys? Your mental health is taking a turn for the worse because no one has ever called Jordan a quitter, but you need to create this straw man to find another reason to hate LeBron. And the reason why I told you guys got a little weird because this person talked about my mental health. And listen, man, I, I don't want to go on into some, in the weeds with this mental health for this person to even say mental health in this comment. Like I said, this is weird, man. And this is from the Michael Jordan is a quitter video. That talked about Michael Jordan or people saying that Michael Jordan's a quitter. Isn't it funny, guys? I read off a comment earlier and the guy said Michael Jordan quit twice. So he literally called Michael Jordan a quitter in the comment I read earlier. But this idiot's telling me that something's wrong with my mental health because 
I'm making this up. No one calls Michael Jordan a quitter. That's what they said. But I'm creating a straw man. You obviously don't even know what a straw man is. You probably just heard that somewhere and thought you were being, you know, like a, like a, a, a freaking, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You thought you were being witty with that. Straw man? You don't know what that means, obviously, because I'm not using a straw man argument. One of your own fan club members called Michael Jordan a quitter early in the video. So, yes, Michael Jordan's been called a quitter. Nick Wright on national television, like I said in the video, has called Michael Jordan a quitter on numerous occasions. Many people have said Michael Jordan quit. All the fan club, that's one of their go-tos. Michael Jordan's a quitter. He quit. They love to bring that up. So I don't know what the hell this person's talking about. My mental health is all right. Once again, so what are you trying to say? Are you trying to make fun of people or down, downplay people with mental health issues? Is that where we're going at? It's a dark place, man. You weird LeBron James fans, man. You guys like to go dark with it sometimes, man. That's weird. I'm not going to touch that. But I'm okay, man. I'm doing all right. Thank you. I appreciate your concern for my mental health, but I'm all right. I'm all right. The facts got y'all nervous, man. I tell you, man, it's, this, this ride's been crazy, y'all. It's been crazy, man. We're going to leave it on that one, but this ride's been crazy. The more facts I put out, the more that I speak and do what I'm doing, the more weird things we're going to continue to hear. Once again, guys, this was part 10. Thank you for riding with me on this adventure, guys. I hope you guys had a laugh. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself, man. I hope you guys were educated, you know, the LeBron fan club. I hope you guys were educated in this one. And if not, man, please continue to leave the comments. We'll continue to make the videos. We'll continue to laugh. Like I said, man, it's nothing disputed, as you guys can see. Once again, how many did I read off in this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven comments. No facts disputed. No facts in their comments. The LeBron James fan club continue to say weird things, guys. And that's part 10, y'all. Yo, to all my people, man, thank you, guys. Much respect, man. Much respect. I know the view got a little dark in here, man. The sun's going down, man. Shout out to all you guys, man. And stay tuned, man, for part 11, guys. Part 11. LeBron James fans say weird things. Catch you guys on the next one.